now at 5.30. An encounter in a Long Island music store has some church leaders crediting divine intervention. Thieves who stole church audio equipment were caught trying to sell the goods at the same time church leaders were in that very store. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has more. When thieves broke in through a back door of the New Jerusalem Church of Christ in Uniondale, they stole thousands of dollars in audio equipment. But what happened next, says the pastor, was an act of divine intervention. I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe it was a miracle. While church officials were inside this Sam Ash music store trying to replace what was stolen, they eyed some very familiar looking audio equipment being wheeled in. Watch this store surveillance video. You can actually see Pastor Jones doing a double take as the equipment wheels right by her. Store employees say they suspected the goods were hot because the same people brought in stolen church items last week. So they pulled church leaders aside. And told them that this stuff might be stolen. She's like, yeah, from me. The signs were undeniable. White paint on a keyboard, red tape on an amplifier. Church elders came to the quick realization they were in the same store where the thieves were trying to cash in on their stolen goods. We was saying, that's not stuff right there. You know what I mean? But then we didn't want to cause no upset nobody getting hurt, so uh, we played it cool. The manager called police who descended on the store and arrested three alleged thieves on the spot. I've been doing this a long time, and this is one of the nuttier days. The pastor says this week's sermon will now contain two messages. God is forgiving God, we forgive them. The other? Oh, it must have been a miracle that should increase our faith. The church now has all its equipment back. Sunday services will be conducted with music and gratitude. In Uniondale, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. All three accused men are from Nassau County and are now charged with burglary and criminal possession of stolen goods.